Hello everyone! Welcome back for some more Fate Grand Order. As soon as I click, we're gonna get a video. So let's get going. Let's see this. I'm excited because I haven't seen this yet. And the last one was pretty cool. So let's see. I'll see if I can point out the new art. Ah, here we go. It's wild how good they can do with pre-existing assets, you know? Most of this is just the pre-existing stuff. Just throw a bloom filter on it. Oh, this is Holmes narrating. Dang, remember how messed up he got? Dang, he got real messed up, huh? Anyways, I'm actually teaching lessons right now on Napoleon. Real ironic that him dying in the Russian cold, well not dying, but failing missions because of the cold. It's kind of funny that he's here. That's new art, I think. Yeah, they're just adding the f adding particle effects to so much. That is new art too. Not bad. That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. I quite enjoyed that. Um, so we're here with. Uh, it is time for the rediscover lost belt two. Uh, special event, which I talked about last time, where they will give us access to the Lost Belt 2 servants to do their interludes, which, uh, A, means, hey, story with servants I don't, you know, I can get for free. That's awesome. Including a new one with Scotty, which is interesting because it is labeled as you need to have beat Lost Belt 6, so it's like, why? What's with the spoiler stuff? Also, this is coming right away, so that's good. Uh, I, it was Sea Monster Crisis in Japanese. But now it's Water Monster Crisis. Um, oh, we also have the Advanced Quest Part 3. Right. Right. So we'll deal with that. Um, okay, we'll just close that for now. Okay. Two more things. As you have cleared Lost Spell 2, the Recollection Quest is now available. I'll maybe... I'll probably just do the regular ones on my own time. Those hard ones are stupid. Oh, the Burn Hill Trial Quest. We did that one, didn't we? We did that one. That one was unlocked for free earlier, right? Wasn't it? When Burn Hill appeared and we did her stuff? I think so. This is all done. Obtain three complete Lost Belt 2 free quests one time. I can do that on my own. Okay, we'll grab these for now. So things we need now are specifically three monuments for archers, archer, servant, and free quest there. All right, all right, all right. So, I was going to say, I think we did our trial quest. Advanced quest three? What? Oh, they added a bunch. Oh, they added a bunch. Sorry to interrupt, but we've got wyverns. That's... That's really funny, actually. That's really funny. The Four Knights, Bone Shattering. Okay. So this is how we get some of these extra ones, huh? Okay. That's kind of fun. Look at all these different... I don't even recognize those two types. Huh. Okay, if they're adding a bunch of advanced quests, then they're not... They're not just one and done. I'll do those on my own. There's no story there. You don't need to see that. Especially because we do have... Uh, a number of interludes to do, right? All these ones that are servants we don't have. So uh, we have, right? Because then these are all ones that we, we, we still have access to. And I'll complete them on my own. Uh, but I am curious about Beyond the Century of Endless Flame. You know, let's do some of the other ones first. And then after that, we will uh, do the new one there. Uh, since I have Valkyrie, I don't need to worry about that there. But I am curious about... Yet, I want to remain a flame. Like, like an old flame? Like, like the word we use for, like, a, a fire? 
I don't know. Um, let's see here. High attack. You look silly. Get in. And then we could do... Oh, well, this is the team I've been using. Do I want to show it off? No, it won't work good here. Um, I'll just stick with that then. Let's go with... Uh, you know what? You guys could probably do some crazy stuff. Sure. Sure. You guys can, can, can go with, with that. All right. Interlude. Yet I want to remain a flame. A flame, not a flame. Those are different, right? Is there a space in there or not? Memories. No. It'd be better to call them records. In life, I did not have regular memories like a human's. Now, it is time to begin my nightly routine. Here, alone in the room provided to me when I form my contract with Master, I will review my records. It should be fine. It's safer than getting worked up thinking about Master. That's what usually happens whenever I'm on my own. I can never control myself. Just mirror the volume. Super low. It's normal volume. Huh. Weird. Should be fine. I'll probably be high in combat again. And then I start confusing Master with him. Always, without fail. The kind of love, the kind that makes me want to kill them. I don't want it anymore. That's why I review my records. To stop me from becoming flames. To quell the fire in my heart. Tonight. Again. Alone. Oh, now it's... Hey, now we got volume. Weird, that might have just been that one scene. Ah, the record of the snowy mountain. I remember this well. This pure white landscape where the ground blurs with the sky. In life, I wandered the land. I soared through the sky. I did only as Odin the Allfather commanded. I gathered the souls of fallen heroes. The brave, men of valor, heroes... Those who would fight for the sake of others, even at a great cost to themselves. I approached them, led them, and at times granted them victory. But in the end, I set them on a journey leading ultimately to their deaths. That was what it was to be a Valkyrie. Mechanical puppets in the guise of women created by Odin. Reapers of souls who only appeared human. With icy and passive countenance, the dolls watched over those cho their chosen heroes and slowly crept ever closer. I am. Yes, that's right. Ice. I am ice. I can be ice. I shall smother the flames. Do not burn. I cannot allow myself to burn. If I do, my flames will consume Master. That is one thing I cannot allow myself to do. Huh? I'm not conscious of it, really. That thought never crossed my mind, not once. But... What? No. Why? Don't do that, I... Don't rouse me. I'm not supposed to burn like this. No. The auto-replay has begun. No. I can't stop it. Even after all the safeguards I put in place... She is way more mechanical than I really took her for. Things because she doesn't outwardly project it as much as the other Valkyries, you know? But boy, she sure is. It hurts. It hurts. The fragments of these replaying records are shards of glass through my heart. My beloved, Sigurd. A stern yet gentle warrior. Eyes that shone with crystallized wisdom. Loving lips. My brave Sigurd, my valiant Sigurd, my hero Sigurd. No matter how much time passes, you are always with me. No. No, I can't so hot. These flames will consume me. Stop. Not that first encounter at Hindarfall. No, don't play that record. I'm doing this to pacify myself. Be cold. I must be like snow, like ice. Please, all Father, give me the strength to be as cold as the great wolf Fenrir's breath. I beg of you. I am a servant. I am a lancer who serves Tanner. I am a broken Valkyrie. 
I must never allow myself to be consumed by the flames. Hmm. Hmm. Hi, wh where am I? I never expected to meet you again. Then again, this may not count. This is not truly a place, nor any real time. It's not a physical world at all, really. It is a sea of the mind, your dream. It is also the memory of a servant with whom you've been contracted. Wait, wait, is this the, is this the guy? Wait, that voice. Y wait, are you Dantes? Do I sound familiar? Oh, wait, oh no, Arthur. Oh, Frick, hi, Arthur. I didn't know you're part of this quest. Well, that makes sense. Let's put introductions on hold. As it happens, I should not be standing between the two of you. It seems that in my warping, I have synchronized with your dreams, your consciousness, with your warping? Ooh, ooh, that's a hint to your trial quest, which we gotta get info about later. This is a dilemma. It's actually a first for me. I'm not sure if it was kinship between you and me, or you and her. Ooh, that's interesting. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but okay, who are you? If you don't remember, then so be it. I am but a simple knight who is destined to meet you one day. That's all you need to know for now. Oh, we're going to do his quests and it's going to be great, but I still need to finish your books. For the moment, we need to make a move. It seems she's in a very fragile mental state. Is your servant in trouble? Exactly. A servant with whom you formed a contract. Namely... Uh, no, explanations have to wait. Action is what's needed here. I've sent something. Let's go. It should be around here. From here, you might have better luck detecting her than me. Trying to pick up anything. Or, rather, trying to pick up anything. It can be her magical energy, or her presence, or simply a hunch. Just reach out your hand. I cannot do it. The relationship I have with her is one purely of combat. You are the only one who can save her. Well, I can feel it. It's certainly troubling. <gasps> you never fail to impress. So she's under the snow. She must have been buried after collapsing. Let's dig her up. Where did we get a shovel? Lancer. Lancer, can you hear me? Your master's here. You're not the sort to sleep here forever. Lancer. Bernhild. Yes. Oh, you collapsed in the snow. You all right? Master. Yes, I am. I'm fine. For now. Master. Adorable, adorable boy, my contractor. You always greet me. You always have a smile for me. It brings me such happiness. Such love. Such pain. That's why I... Do you understand, Master? I'm constantly trying to kill you. I confuse you with Sigurd always, all the time. Yeah, I know, you do that a lot. Yes. I need to stop doing that. I do not want to confuse you two anymore. You are not my Sigurd. You are a warrior of your own. You are a man who will save the world. The newest of the heroes. That is why I decided to follow you. To obey you. The reason I allowed myself to be summoned. The reason I came to Kaldia, even broken as I am. It... It was all to save you. Yet I... I cannot control my desire to kill you. I want to love you to the moment of your death. It is... I do not want to remain this way, trapped in this madness. I... I was replaying my records, like I do every night. The records of me as ice, the records of myself as a Valkyrie. I awaken the frigid cold within me to keep the fires at bay. I I use it to quench the flame. By doing so, I can prevent myself from killing Master. Just barely. So you do this every night? I see. For the man you loved, you put aside being a Valkyrie. 
and that when you lost him, you shut your heart away. Existing as a servant, it must be an excruciating contradiction for you. So even without mental corruption or madness enhancement, a certain madness afflicts you. And so you're fighting against your own madness. To hold it at bay, you've been making adjustments to your own mental state on your own. Whether that's due to the Valkyrie in you, or just because of who you are as a person, I cannot say. What I can say is this. It must be incredibly difficult. It must be an incredibly difficult, painful trial for you, Lancer. You. You're... No. It can't be. You are from a different world. Huh, but of course. We're inside my own records. It's perfectly possible for a shadow like you to be mixed in. A kind man. Saber. Yeah. I guess I am that sort of man now. So she can stop herself from killing. Could her spirit origin itself be broken? Is... 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 Is Burn Hill fine now? Does it kind of saving her? No. If the problem had been resolved, you would already be returning to your own reality. Which is to say, you'd wake from this dream. But you're still caught in this record of hers. We're still in a snowy field. So, no. Not yet. Yes. Saber's correct. I... I had succeeded in cutting myself off as an emergency measure. And that is why I collapsed here. You cut... cut... off from yourself? Bur Burnhild? Tell us. It's okay. I cut myself off from the flame within me. From myself. Flame? Yeah, what's what's this about? The being that smoldered within the depths of my heart that bubbled up whenever I let myself go even the slightest bit. Master, if I think of you as my Seagird, I... I go up in flames. I burn. So hot, so hot. Hotter than the sword of Surtur. That is what I become. My love. My everything. Ooh, you probably should have kept that. But Master, that flame will kill you one day. I cannot allow that. I... That's the one thing I do not want to. Oh, this is no good. Lancer, don't you understand? Your Master is confident that you will not kill him. Even as a result to accept you, your madness notwithstanding. What a great Master, don't you think? Yes, a wonderful master. Like everyone I've gotten close to, he has the heart of a hero. Yeah? Then it's settled. Let's go find this flame of yours. But first, we've got wyverns. Never mind, we found a flame. So, the snow's on fire. Welcome, my Seagird. Oh. How I've waited for this day, for my wish to become reality. Reality? <laughs> what is reality? This is merely a small segment of my own records. And Master, my Seagird, this is your dream too. But I don't mind, I don't care if it's a dream or not. I know, I know, even if it is just a dream, my Lance still brings those I love the sweet release of death. Even if... Even it, if it be a hero, even if it be a great individual who could save the world, even if it be him, nobody can escape from my love. My love. Mine, mine, mine. Me, 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 Wherever you and I stand, it is always a place to love, a place to kill, always. After all, I was the one who killed Sigurd. Well, I guess I'm Sigurd to her now. There's no talking to her. That woman is fire itself. I'm taking her back into myself. I should have never let her out. Master, would you please lend me your strength? I could never neglect a servant in distress. We're a little feisty in this one. Thank you. Now let's go get that flame of mine. You are a great master. I shall assist you with my blade as well. Huh? 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 What? Are you telling me you're not going to hand over my Seagird? No, you can't. 
can't, 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 I could end up sounding like, it's fine, I'll just say I'm the half Australian. Give my Seagird back to me. I'm the one who kills Seagird. That's what all the Allfather decreed. It's what the legends have said for generations. I, I still remember the day I did it, Seagird. Now, let us go up in flames together. Let us become Ash. Let us, uh, Art Sloop. Over and over, and that's all we need to do. Of course, we are like super crazy powerful uh, compared to when this came out, so I don't think we'll have much of an issue. Uh, her passion. Okay. Uh, let's do. I think I'm gonna do this, and let's give. I'm gonna hold off on that, but let's go. Uh, one, two, three. All right. And then we hop, pop this. Be cool if we get a bunch back. Actually, wait, they're, they're the wrong type, though, I realize. We might not kill them. It's fine if we don't. Never mind, we super killed them. Never mind, that's not an issue whatsoever. Oh, more. Okay. Didn't think we get so many so quickly. Okay. Well, let's just go. Um, you know what? Should we? Just do some regular attacks. Okay. There are 50 something. Okay. I might give. Nah, let's just do regular combat for now. We'll do other stuff thereafter. Right? Save some stuff up for after. So we can just instantly nuke her. Okay. Yeah, hit Sheiky, though. Okay, you're maxed out. So let's go with this. 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 Okay, and let's go... Uh, one... Two, three, and I have to keep talking because otherwise this this one he has music that I can't play. It's such a good theme, but I can't play it. It's so great. I love it so much, but I cannot play even this much of it because it's a problem if I'm not talking over it. Okay, good. Alright. Hey, look at that loop. Nice. Okay, we up to her. We got yeah, there we go. Fatal battle. Severed foot. That's it? Are you serious? Oh, we won. That's that. We win. We win. I could have even won even if I didn't use the Noble Phantasm. Just did his full combo. Did that do it in one? Almost. GGZ. All right. Oh, that was a one and done. For some reason, I thought this one was three. I read it wrong. That's fine. That makes my life easier. I... Does she have two? She might have another interlude after that. That might be it. Huh. <sighs> Looks like we put out that old flame. The flame. I can tell it is coming back to me. Please stand back, Master. It... It is possible that I may end up attacking you just like I said I would. So please stand back a bit. That's okay. I'm fine. I'm kind of comfy here. Seems like it's fine, Lancer. Your Master really is impressive. Yes. Yeah. Looks like I'm about to wake up. The dream will soon end, so... You'll wake up and return to reality, too. Although, I'm not sure how much of what happened here you'll remember. Lancer, is there anything you want to say? No, Saber. Kind shadow within my records, I have nothing to say. But my heartfelt wish remains the same. Master. Tanner. The next time I see you in reality, I only hope... You stop saying I look like 
Lusamine from Pokemon. Also, I guess I hope to be free of the desire to love and kill you, to be free of the need to stab, to shred, to tear your life to pieces, to burn to cinders, but mostly the Lusamine thing. That is my only wish. Yes, because I have blue hair on the inside. That's totally different. I want to be of some use to you. Well, I don't even have you, so it's fine. Uh, you don't need to worry too much. As one who was once a Valkyrie, as one who loved and nurtured a hero, I want to be alongside the brave warrior who fights to save the world. But... But my flaming love still confuses you with Sigurd. I'm sure one day we'll come to the surface. It's fine, we'll get Sigurd, and then that will stop being a problem. That's why... Today... Tomorrow... The next day, forever, I must remain cold as ice and willing to sacrifice my love. What a good song. What a good song. Like that's, that's one of those songs that just gets stuck in my head. I've never seen that. That's cool, actually. Cool. All right. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Dear Little Sister. Ooh, is this about who I think it is? Ooh, ooh, I sure hope this is exactly what I think it'll be. Okay, all right. Now, it looks like we have ourselves some of that, so let's go with our kill saber. We'll go with you, and uh, yeah, that should work out pretty good. You know what? Just for hits and shiggles, I'm going to give you your key to the treasury. Yeah, nice. And instead, I'm going to give you, because if it seems it's based on sea stars. So let's get some sea stars in the form of twice. All right, we'll give you that. Um, rest of these, uh, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Sure, and I will see who we get. All right, let's go. Interlude, dear little sister. I think this is about Altera. This might be fun. All right, we won. Yes, we've exhausted the enemy forces and suffered minimal casualties ourselves. Oh, this is the prototype crew. So, we won. We sure did. Nice job out there, Miss Lancer. Hey, Miss, have you seen this? Yes, she seems to be a bit... Yeah, she's kind of off her game. Like her mind's somewhere else. Yo, yo, Burnhild, everything okay? You feeling all right? Waving my hand in front of your face? Oh, yes, I'm fine, Master. Thank you for your consideration, but there's nothing wrong with me. I'm operating within normal parameters. At least I thought I was. No, you're right. I'm sorry. I've had difficulty concentrating in battle. I'm worried that I have been holding you all back. Would you mind if I took a leave of absence, Master? Do, do, do we give the servants paid vacation? I see. So she asked for some time off, huh? That is pretty unusual. Servants are supernatural beings, but their minds are still essentially human. We're way more durable than any human physically, but that doesn't mean we're immune to stress or exhaustion. Plus, she's been doing her best to not bring up Sigurd lately, so that might be related. Nothing good comes of repressing your feelings like that, you know. I mean, she mentions him constantly still, though. I, I mean, comparatively. You know how much she used to bring him up. I only know what it's like to be a demi-servant, so my experience may not quite match Brynhildr's, but even when I was re regularly ray-shifting singularities... I was always very glad to have some time off. Talking with Senpai, eating meals together, chatting with Dr. Roman during my checkups. Oh, this is making me sad now. I enjoyed every moment of it. I don't know how much that downtime affected my magical energy or vital signs, but it was very important to me, and I'm sure it did me a lot of good, so... Well, everyone needs their breaks, right? We need to have that time off. Right, Senpai? Remind me, is she... Why was that text like that? Is she spending her time in her room right now? Yes, she's been there ever since she returned from the ray shift. I just so happened over here in your discussion, and I must say that it does seem Bernhild would benefit from something of a tune-up, as it were. A tune-up, he says. 
What a delightfully tactless way to ignore everything we said about even heroic spirits needing rest. Truly, you are a detective without equal. Still, I guess Holmes does have a point. Bernhild's spirit origin is something of a special case, even as these things go, since she was created by the Allfather of the Norse gods, Odin. She may have managed to fit into the servant container now, but she's still technically half divine spirit. Frankly, that she's materialized like this at all is a miracle. A miracle. <laughs> don't we? Yeah, don't we see divine spirits all the time? Seth, no, Yerali, Cats, Jaguar. It's easy to forget about Jaguar. That's true. They may not make a, make up a large number of the servants we see, but well, it's easy to lose sight of this now. But the fact there are so many of them is still miraculous. It's also true that Caldia's system for summoning heroic spirits is pretty special too. I think that's a, that's something important. A lot of the rules for like, oh, you can't summon a divine spirit. That pretty much is for like a regular thing. Caldia's its own bucket of fish. I would say so. They are ghost liners after all. The term refers to heroic spirits, a type of superior spiritual entity whose existence is comprised of records tied to humanity. Harnessing their awesome power is one of the most difficult spells imaginable. Uh, even compared to the clock tower's evocations of um, summoning spells in layman's terms. Not to mention that such powers are far cry from something like low-level demonic beasts or ghost summons. Heroic spirits are indeed rare and powerful. And from there, when you delve into how their ether bodies are given form and personality nearly identical to their living selves, how could one call the results anything but miraculous? Well now, you certainly know a lot about this, don't you, Mr. Holmes? Well, I can't take too much credit. It is one thing to know, but quite another to act on that knowledge. I see. So you don't deny it, huh? You never change, do you? But we digress. Getting back to the topic at hand, the short of it is that Bernhild is special even by our own rather odd standards. A good master be wise to pay some attention to her. And while I'm at it, I think I will give her spirit origin a tune-up. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary at her last checkup, but well, you never know. You know, I, I expected her to get out of the Santa ghetto, but... Ho, ho, ho. I see you're in quite the predicament. That voice! I'll Attila the Santa! That's me. Ho, ho, ho. Just Santa Claus passing by. What are we doing here? Why are we doing this? Why are we back here? What's going on? I see. Say no more. I understand. There is something amiss with that one, is there not? It seems she's found herself in a difficult position. It happens to everyone sometimes, I think. That is why I'm here now. Yes, even though it is not that time of year, Santa Claus is coming to town. Yo, are you back in your archer's weird origin? Please don't ask about that. I'll go back to my old self if I lose my concentration. Please be nice. I'm trying very hard to remember what it was like in this spirit origin last time. Besides, I need to save my strength for... You know what. Please help me, Fluffy Master. Master, Altera! I turned on the simulator like you asked, but, um... What do you plan to do in there? We'll hunt and enjoy the Winter Wonderland, of course. But first, I need to recharge my Santa power. Sa Santa power? Don't think too hard on it, young man. You just need to believe in Santa, and be careful not to get hurt. Now, we can start by me getting accustomed to this body again. The first step is reclaiming my Santa power. Or at least, I'm told. I take it this means she wants to adjust her spirit origin to... Santa Claus Archer? Now, let us be off. I shall soon fill my cane with dreams. Assemble rainbows and fly across the sky! She's... She's quirky. She's a quirked up... little weirdo. And I still think... Her being Attila the Hun... It's one of the strangest things that I've... In all of fate. I feel like we really peaked with that. Me learning that that's Attila the Hun. And everything after that has been so much less of something that's like a surprise, you know? Anyways, the good news is this should go pretty easy. Actually, these enemies are quite tough. Are you serious? What is what is this HP? 
I mean, the good news is, like, we have a very strong team here, right? We can do this here for some good stuff. Okay. Nice. Okay. Little fella, there he goes. Alright, I'm gonna save that for the next thing. Um, ooh, that's some good crits, baby. Nice. Good. And we'll get this. Alright. And last dude, we got big crits going, so you know what, let's go. Pop that, and ah, why not pop this too? Alright, let's go. One, two, three, because those should kill, but more importantly, I want to get some meter there. Yep. Nice. Alright. What crazy boss we got. It is a giant snowman. Kip. Wait, hold up, wait. Wait, hold up. Is this team actually kind of busted? Hold up. I want to see how, how strong we'll get. Hold up. Do we have anyone else who can do like a, a buff for our thing? I think you can. Right? No. Wait. 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 You... I think... Mm, I don't remember. I think Jean might have one. Okay, let's give that a try. Even if we just get a few more buffs. I want to just see big big number go stupid, right? Yeah, that's on you. That's on you. Servant cheer. That's more tax up. Okay. I want to see big stupid number. Show me a number so big that makes me go wowie zowie. I'm scared of numbers. And we get another one. Oh my god. Hold up. What's this going to be like? How much? And not as much as I expected, and I think it comes down to the fact that they weren't servants, right? Because they weren't servants, we didn't get that final buff. But uh, that's not bad. That's not bad, right? I mean, we we annihilated them beyond any shadow of a doubt. So, what do you think? Huh. I'll need more Santa power if I'm gonna give Bernhild her present. I think I'll stay here a little longer and try to gain more Santa power. But we shouldn't push ourselves too hard. Let's take a break, Master. I'll make an igloo so we can warm up. You do that? Are you doing that because I'm Canadian? Are you, are you making a joke? This is not funny. We don't live in igloos. It's not a thing. It's a stereotype and it's harmful. All right. Roughly the same, using you again, okay. Uh, yeah, this worked pretty good, all things considered, so, uh, I'm gonna check, though. I'm curious. Filter. Does anyone have NP Strength Up, who is a, uh, nope. Let's see here. Is this for everyone? Things for yourself, right? I think that's this for yourself. Okay. Um, you can give it, right? Don't you? Uh, NP strength up for, for an ally. Oh, this could be mad silly. I'm kind of for it. I want to see how silly we can get with this this time. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. And this does NP strength up, right? NP strength by 30%. It's not all the way, but I'll take it. All right. Let's give this a go. This could be... Tremendously silly. I'm excited. Hopefully it's a servant this time. According to legend, Bernhild and Altera were family. Again, this blew my mind when I first heard it, but it, I guess, makes sense. It is said that Bernhild was the younger sister of King Atli, who many believed is based on Attila the Hun. I've heard stories to that effect before, but I can't speak to it myself. One of them said I married a princess after her husband was killed. I think his name was Siegfried? Sigurd? Something along those lines. Wait. 
You really? Huh. You married her? No, I really don't remember any of that. I am a fighter, not a lover. I can barely remember my wife at all, and I'm not sh sure whether I had a sister or not. So wait. Wait, no, I'm, no, wait, that doesn't make sense. So, no, your sisters. But you married. It's confusing. That's fine. I do recall the elder Huns worrying about my successor, but I don't know anything about it myself. Something about this doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, I'm trying to put it together in my head and it's not working. Altera, you're Attila the Hun, a figure from the 5th century. But the Norse legends from the saga and the Ada, including the one Wagner wrote about Bernhild, came all came much later. So the timeline doesn't really seem to make sense. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Do we... Oh, frick. Do we not know that she's actually the White Titan in this timeline? Do we not know that she's kind of the, the, the problem? Oh. What do you mean? Oh, this is interesting. Right, there's no way to reconcile the legends and stories. First off, no, all, first of all, Norse mythology has a legend regarding the end of the gods, Ragnarok. It was said to be the last battle waged between gods and monsters. This battle would bathe the world in fire and smash the ground into the sea. And by the end of the war, gods, monsters, and giants would all cease to be. You could call it another sort of ending of the Age of Gods. In time, the Norse world began a new age of humans rather than one of gods. But it's unclear even now whether Bernhild's legend takes place before or after Ragnarok. Yep, if the story of Siegfried and of sorry, if the story of Bernhild and Sigurd in her death took place after the Christian era began, that is, if it took place after the end of the Age of Gods, it would mean that she and the other Valkyries would have been collecting souls for a war that was long over. You've heard of the Valkyries before, right? They're a group of female warriors tasked with collecting the souls of fallen heroes to serve in the final battle. So you'd think that must mean Bernhild came from the Age of Gods before Ragnarok, right? But as it turns out, yes. A number of contradictions emerge there, specifically Altera, aka Attila the Hun. If this actually goes into, like, the White Titan, that'd be super cool, but I don't think it will. There's just no way that a story about a king of the Huns from the 5th century would appear in a story that takes place during the Age of Gods and still make sense. So, well, you shouldn't take myth and legend at face value. You gotta go digging for the truth in them. For that matter, even in the world of Magecraft, which is all about finding secret truths, opinions are mixed as to when exactly Ragnarok happened. The most plausible theory puts it at around 1000 BC. It says that the eruption of Mount Kalta at the time was actually the fires of Muspel rampaging across the earth. And that in turn kicked off Ragnarok, the chain of events that led to the extinction of the Norse pantheon of gods as well as the giants. The fall of Norse civilization, huh? If we consider the Age of Gods to be a sort of civilization, then, well, yes, you could say that. On the other hand, there's nothing in the geographical record about a large-scale eruption of Katla taking place prior to AD 930. But then, how could there be an... How could there be... But then, how could there be with an entire texture missing? And by texture, I mean an entire layer of reality, the thin membrane covering this planet where our ecosystems exist. That's why the saga from the 9th century is the oldest known document we've got. Humanity took a long time to collect those stories depicting the Norse Age of Gods and the saga and the Ada. Hmm. That does seem to be what they say in the world of Magecraft. It took quite some time for mages to investigate and turn up anything about the eruptions aftermath and the end of the Norse Age of Gods. And there's yet a great deal of uncertainty about even that. Between all the conjecture and interference necessary to arrive at the conclusion, the extent to which is factual is still very much in doubt. Right. Of course. I'm impressed you're able to follow along with them, Senpai. I actually can. I know I brought this up, but I actually lost track of things <laughs> somewhere around Muspelheim. Well, sure, if the lost carrier of the gods were to suddenly show up, that'd certainly upend the general scholarly census on the subject. But that's just how most of these Age of God things go. And you could count the ages we knew we able to verify on one hand, and you couldn't e wouldn't even need all of the f its fingers. Indeed. Bernhild might know something about that time period, but she refuses to talk about it. More often than not, that's how it goes with heroic and divine spirits. Not that I'm one to talk. <laughs> What's so funny? You're certainly no better, you know. Worse, even. 
<sighs> the truth is difficult to discern as always. Right. Huh. What a difficult topic. But then again, it seems the real problem is the timeline's not lining up. What do you think, Altera? I've been around for a bi bi billion centuries, actually. Play Fate Excella to find out. No, not really. More a hunch than anything solid. A hunch? I can't say this for sure, but I'm guessing my origins have something to do with it. Are we doing it? Your origins? You mean Attila the Huns? Oh? I don't really have a clear grasp on it myself, so it's hard to explain, but I believe you could think about it like this. Santa Claus is the Valkyrie's big sister. Are we just skipping around? Santa flies across the road with his reindeer, and if I'm not mistaken, the Valkyries fly around on winged horses. They're so similar, it can't be a coincidence. There, I've just overturned the consensus. That was Gene Alter Santa Lily levels of ridiculous. I, uh, what's that got to do with legends again? Never mind that. Replenishing my Santa power comes first. There, I see more enemies. She's avoiding the whole thing with, uh, with uh, the, the, the giant comet whose name I forget, Velber. That's it, Christmas fairies. Help me remember the spirit of Christmas. It's more than a little embarrassing to be wearing an outfit like this and not be at all feverish. Now I'm counting on you fairies to blow that embarrassment right out of me. Right? Because then if she was... Yeah, it's simple. We know the truth. She's the Velber, right? We, we, we know the White Titan. We're good. That's it. It's kind of funny that we're at the point where I know more than, you know, Ritsuka Fujimaru does. But, God, these guys, these guys are getting so much HP. What's going on here? Uh, we're going to deal with you first. But, like, what's going on here? Come on, stop that. All right, so. Do that, do that. All right. Hey, I guess I can talk about some stuff coming up. Uh, I am mad excited for... Well, let's do this. The upcoming um, animation updates. I hope we get those earlier. hope we get those a bit ahead of time. Uh, the, the Jean and Jean Alter ones look incredible. And I hope that means that we'll get a uh, Jalter, uh, her, her Lancer costume there from... Uh, from Samurai Remnant, that'd be real, real spanky. Probably won't, at least on the first run. Might have to wait for the second, right? The rerun. Bet you that's what's gonna happen in Japan for that. Okay, with that. Nearly maxed out. Let's go with, uh, one, two, three. All right. Hundo. Nice. Good stuff. All right, we lost our attack up, but it's fine, so we're going to get buffed up again here. Two of two, three enemies, sounds good. Attack up. Attack up. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. We'll do that anyways. Hit that. Attack up. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just get you, let's just get you super strong. Altera timer. What is that again? Stun after three turns. I forgot about that. Wow. I completely forgot that that's a feature of you. Okay. Noble Phantasm strength up. Critical up. Okay. Let's see them. Big numbers. We got like, what, three? Three, four of them on? How big? Actually smaller. Strange. Again, I feel like that is just endemic to them not being servants. Oh well. It's silly and we do it. And look at that. These guys are... I'm, I'm gonna... I'm starting to see pixels on sabers. So it is doable. But boy, geez, do they, does it take a while to get these done? There. 
That should do it. I was worried that without Doomsie here, I might just be my normal self in this strange costume. But fortunately, I was able to restore both my Archer Spirit Origin and my Santa Claus power. At least, I think. You think? At any rate, my Santa power should now be more than sufficient to bring Burnhild her present. Now let us be on our way! This is where Santa's work truly begins. We might just be doing Burnhilds in this video. Honestly. Depending on how long it goes. Alright. Oh, I sure wonder who we will be beating up. Okay, in that case, um, let's go with... Uh, I'm going to switch... Whoops. What did I... I don't want that. I said I wanted to line up. Sure. Sure. Why not? Just do it to win. All right. Huh? Is she out? Oh, there you are. Why are you just standing in a corner like that? It's very strange. In any case, Bernhild, I'm sorry it took so long, but Santa Claus has finally come to town. Are you, like, recharging? I'm so sorry. You came all the way to my room and I didn't even bother to greet you. Master, and you. Ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus is here, even out of season. I never did bring you a present, so here I am to remedy that now. And luckily for you, young lady, I have just the thing for a very beautiful, very sad woman. I... I already made my decision. I will not let myself be a bother to Master any longer. I may not be able to stabilize my existence, but I can at least make sure I don't get in everyone's way. That's why I asked for a leave of ab- DENIED! Not to worry. Whatever is wrong with your spirit origin, I'll fix it. Ho ho ho. I may once have been known as the Whip of God, but today is different. Today, as I am even Santa Claus off-season, I'm here to smack you with the whip of love. Or more accurately, I'm going to punch you. A punch? Really? Up, uh, scratch that. I, I mean, whap you with my cane. Just a little bonk on the head, nothing to worry about. Once I smack you with my cane, there'll be some stars, and you'll feel better right away. Bonk, bonk, he starts, that sounds like something out of a comic book. But Altera, how can just hitting someone be anything but... Don't worry, she and I have much in common, so I know how she feels. She looks like a delicate flower, but she's actually very tough at heart. Since she's focused her skills and stats on combat, that sh she, oh, she should eventually remember her true spirit origin if we fight her in earnest. Santa isn't violent. Don't worry, I have no plans of destroying her. So we're going to fight. If you command me to fight, Master, I will obey. I have this form solely to be your servant. Whatever your orders, I will obey. Yes, I will follow you to the ends of the earth. I'm happy to fight by your side, Master. I'm happy to be your opponent, too. Use my skills however you must, Master. If you insist on fighting, at least go to the simulator. Our rooms are not designed for combat training. Da Vinci, would you mind prepping the simulator right away? I think we're about to have a battle. I had a feeling we might, so it's all warmed up. Come on down whenever you're ready. Right, senpai? Change of venue, right now! Very well, let us be off. Bernhild, this is your chance to truly cut loose. I can take whatever you throw at me. My cane's rainbow shall soon set you free from the unease that weighs upon your heart. More like my buster card go brrr and blow you up. That's more like what we're going to do. So let's see here. I'm assuming it's just going to be a bunch of, uh... Oh, we're just in? We're just in in? Good, I'll take that. I prefer that, actually. Okay, cool. Uh, check this. Boom. Boom. We're going to hit with boom. We're going to go with boom. We're going to go with boom. We're going to go with boom. Boom. Look at that HP. Oh my god, you're so screwed. 
Good bye. All right, that's it. We win. Ooh, that looks just under. Ow, wow, okay. Well, we still win. Alright. Do we still gotta beat these guys up, or we have, we have we just won? Are we still do- okay. That's fine. Like, actually nothing to be concerned about. Alright. Fun charge game. All right, so do that there. Ooh, should've done a full combo, I guess. Okay, I was thinking we'd hit the crit. Okay. Um. Let's do that. All right. That should be enough to give that to yourself. Yep. All right. Was that a unique one? I wonder. Sounded unique. Hey. Look how lovely the sheep is. He do be jiggling. Yeah, hit him with the fua fua. I love that word. Nice. Nice. Sounds good. There we go. I'll admit, I was a bit worried when you broke up the runic flame, but I'm glad to see you have returned to your former sharpness. Ho, ho, ho. That is as it should be. Your spear is free from uncertainty. Lady Altera. Uh-huh. I'm so sorry, Valkyrie. I wish I could remember your name and face, but I cannot. But... Though it may only be a hazy fragment of something much larger now. There truly was once a great Norse god we both worshipped. And if I truly was a big sister to you and the other Valkyries, then I think we would make... I think that would make me happy and proud. Bernhild, my sister. Live in beauty, battle maiden. That's such a good phrase, holy crap. Please, don't go around looking so forlorn, Lorne. Hold your head up high. You, may th you and the others may have met tragic ends in myth, but I think that is what makes you so beautiful. I am sure you lived a full life. If I close my eyes, I can see you so clearly running across grassy plains. So please, please don't feel so ashamed. Wow, the serious Altera Santa content. Divine spirits, heroic spirits, servants, titans. We all feel out of sorts at times. So when you have a problem, don't be afraid to ask for help. There's nothing wrong with that. I promise you, our master and the rest of Kaldia are more than strong enough to accommodate any difficulties that servants may be having. He won't crumble beneath the weight if some of us must lean on him for support. Right, Master? I can have a hundred of you easy. Two hundred? Okay. Three hundred? Now it's getting tough. Four hundred? Nope, can't do that. Master. Of course, I'm here too. And I think we'll need to keep talking about this, sister. Otherwise, when your beloved makes his way to Kaldia one day... You might not be able to make full use of your spear. And that would be a terrible waste, wouldn't it? You're right, Lady Altera. Thank you so much. I promise I'll shape up. I see now that I must do better. Yes, 
I'd almost forgotten who I really was. One day. One day I know I will take my beloved secret in my arms and kill him with my spear. Hey, whoa, 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 he'll be with us. Right. I don't want to make trouble for you, Master. I only want to be useful. So I'll continue to do my best. Next time I'll do better. From now on, I'll make sure to be completely open with you about what is happening. I will neither run, I will neither hide nor run away. As long as that's okay with you, Master. I'm glad to have you beside me, Bernhild. There we go. I'd say that's another case closed. Yes, the battle is over now. I'll return the simulation to its default settings. Master Bernhild Altera, well, great work today. I just made a fresh pot of coffee, so why don't you all come have a cup? Let's go, Bernhild. Yes, Master. As you wish. I couldn't even tell if she changed facial expressions there. If it was, it was a mad subtle change. You know what? That was pretty good, too. That was actually, I really enjoyed that one. And what, what, what do you get? Cool. Okay. That's an upgrade, I guess. Uh, cool. All right. Yeah, so these are, these are a bit longer, it seems. So as such, we'll do a few more next time. I think it just makes sense to, you know, slowly ship away. How many days is it? Uh, two times six days. Yeah, six days sounds good. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll, I'll chip away at these couple of days and we should be good. Um, all right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time for some more of these interludes. We'll be probably doing next time Sigurd and probably we'll see. We'll see how long they take, right? Because these are newer guys. So I think they should. Well, on the one hand, they should be like they shouldn't take as long because there's there's only the one for them. But on the other hand, newer writing means longer. So we'll see. We'll see how long it takes. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you then. Ciao. Yo.